Hey everybody, this is Ridgedog from the Voxel Box. Today I'm here to show you how to get custom heads in Minecraft. I'm not just talking about the default heads you get from the new snapshot, I mean actually adding player heads to the game. Now you can see I've got my head, Cisco Geek, Koopo Koopo, and Notch here, and if I go to my inventory you'll see that I've got the names of the players' heads on them. I'm going to grab a few more default heads. Um, we'll just grab head, 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 egg, chicken. Get out of here, you bastard. You're ruining my video. You want to make sure you go to mojang.com and scroll down past the awesome content to get the most recent snapshot. I'm going to use 12W38B. I'm going to open that in a program called NBT Edit. It's an older program, but it still works wonders on even the most recent versions of Minecraft. If you're using this for single player, you can open the level.dat as it's titled here, just inside the save file. If you're using this for a server, just go to the players in the server. I gotta make sure I log off so that it saves my player file on the server. And open it up in NBT Edit. And what you're gonna see under the inventory screen here are a bunch of items with four entries and then a bunch with five. The ones with five I modified to add the skull owner tag Ridge Dog and, and Koopo Koopo and Cisco Geek. Now, I'm gonna do that with the other heads that I just added and show you how during the process. ID 397 is the item for the skull in game. And you wanna make sure it's damage three because if it's damage 0, 1, or 2, or 4, those are actually the other heads, like the creeper and the zombie and the skeleton. Now what you need to do is you've got to actually add a custom tag by clicking on the four entries and adding up here what's called a compound tag. And we're actually just going to call that tag. Then inside tag, click on the string tag up here, which looks like a little T and an R, and name that skull owner. Then in Skull Owner, double click on that, and you can have it say, uh, we'll do Zephos. And on the next head, we'll add a tag. Then we'll add a string that says Skull Owner. And we'll modify that to be Honeydew. Now that those are modified, you'll see they now have five entries with the tag Skull Owner. We'll save that go back into the game, and once I look into my inventory, I should see items one and two, even though they look like regular heads, are going to be called Zephos's head and Honeydew's head. Let's go ahead and place those down and see what we got. Well, there's one, and there's the other. All right, well, I hope that explained a little bit on how to add custom player heads to the game, and thanks for watching, everybody.